I was told when I was growing up was that drugs were bad and they're illegal so you shouldn't do drugs because because that means you're bad and you'll go to jail and you know just telling somebody that isn't enough um, just saying you know it's just like there's some forbidden fruit of pleasure that um, for some reason all I knew was that for some reason this stuff that makes you feel great was illegal um, and it didn't make any sense to me I don't know if it had been any different if I didn't started using or not if I'd have been told the truth about drugs uh, you know about all all the crazy mess of things you get into and the horrible miserable life you experience after you become addicted first time I took a hit I thought why isn't everybody in the world doing this? If everybody felt this great, there would be no problems in the world. Pretty soon, in about six months, taking a hit was just like I turned on a switch that said fear, a fear switch, that I was just scared, paranoid. Um, that's the only feeling I could feel. And even though I, I can and, and I kept doing it over and over and over again, trying to feel good, when I just, when all it would do is make me feel bad. Um, so that was, that was really the first time, from the, tri the time I tried crack until the time that I, that it messed my life up was a couple months. Well, I had a, I had a lot of really severe consequences from using drugs. Um, I became homeless. Um, I had money to pay my rent, but instead of paying rent, I chose to get high. So I ended up on the streets. Um, never did any serious jail time. I was really lucky because there's a lot of stuff I could have went to jail for. But I uh, basically became, um, I gave up on my life, gave up on myself. Um, I was willing to, willing to cheat and lie. You know, everybody knows the story. You cheat, you lie, you steal. Um, I hurt my grandparents very deeply when they were on their 50th wedding anniversary cruise, I s stole a copy of their credit card that they were using on their cruise and maxed it out. I bought $1,200 worth of stuff on their credit card, managed to get not quite $100 worth of dope. Um, that was the lowest I ever felt I was, um, and I still didn't quit. Even when I hit bottom, I didn't quit. I kept using. I decided after one bad uh, experience, well, I, most, most of them were bad experiences at this point after using methamphetamine for years, but uh, it was You know, I was one of those persons that it really it just made me get paranoid. That's all I would do is be scared that something or somebody was going to get me. Um, and it was just, I did so much one night that it just made me feel so scared that I started frantically looking for a place to go to treatment. And uh, I was up for several days and I found, on the second day, I found a place to go to. It was, uh, they call it a inpatient treatment, but it was actually just like a five-day thing. And I showed up there, and I was still up for a few more days in, in the treatment program, high. But, uh, you know, I stayed there because I wanted to quit using. Well, I don't uh, wake up in 
dumpsters anymore. Um, and people don't know I'm a dope fiend anymore. I have to tell them first because the scars have almost completely gone away uh, from where I used to inject the venom. Um, but that's just minor stuff. I, I, uh, I managed to go back to school and uh, get a degree in computer engineering. And uh, I started my own business. I have a place to live, a decent place to live. Uh, got my driver's license back. I have a good vehicle. And I have a lot of support people. Um, the main thing that I got in my life is my sobriety and my recovery, which is a direct result of my support system, which includes 12-step uh, programs and people I work with when I do service work, volunteering, giving back to the recovering community. You know, if anybody's wants to start using drugs and you haven't yet, um, well, that's your choice if, you, if you'd like to go ahead, but I would only recommend it for, for those sadistic people who really just want to be miserable their entire life and have their life mean nothing, because that's what it does.